And we are back, Fashion Dolls, with part two, which is the conclusion of our conversation. We lost internet and power. It is storming outside, but we are back. So I'm going to continue on with this conversation with Gloria. And then we're going to conclude, Fashion Dolls. Yes. So I'm going to do a part one and a part two for today's show, in case you guys missed it. Um, and part one is going to be loading up right now as we speak. And we're back. So let me send this to Gloria. Again, I Welcome back, y'all. We're back. I apologize about that. We lost power. Life. Oh. oh, Lord. Okay. <laughs> Look, I'm in a whole different scenery now. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. So... Yes, I was saying, um, what were you saying? We were talking about Julia Roberts and you become accustomed to do it when you, when a woman has been abused or anybody's been in an abusive relationship, you become accustomed to doing things by pattern. Exactly. And when he found her in that house, he went in the bathroom and he folded up the towels up. It showed the towels in order because she had a messed up. She got used to her new life and he found her. He went because her mother was also in like a, what do I call it? Like a nursing home. He found her mom. She literally had to, because the guy that she was dating, the second guy she started dating, worked in prosthetics and right. worked in helping people disguise dramatic arts. So he helped her disguise herself so that she could go see her mom. She hadn't seen her mom in a long time. He, did, right. he would not allow her to go see her mom. That is another thing that abusers do, is they isolate you away from your family. They, do. they know how dear our moms are close to us. Okay. So what they do is isolate you away from your family. That's true. That's so true. It's, I think it's, and it comes down to a matter of control, of just having control of their life and everything that they are doing. But when they see that they are losing some kind of tro control, yeah. <laughs> and you and see that and it comes out. It yep. comes out. Yeah. And the movie was so real and, you know, a lot of stuff I... I wasn't able to watch a lot of stuff like that. Now I can, um, but it's still a, a healing process too. <laughs> but it's um, it's a shame, but it's real. It's happening, and I'm even just, with J Lo. Oh, and enough, I'm pretty sure you've seen that yes. too. Well, her birthday is today. Yes. J Lo's 56. She's a fashion girl, and J Lo has been killing the red carpet. But in this role, when I tell you she played this role. And I'm for me watching it because my art teacher, we was we was watching movies in class, and I showed it to my art teacher. I showed her the cover, and she said even that was enough for me watching what she's been through. Because uh -huh. I mean, when she tried to get a hotel room for her and her daughter, he he got he got her card number, all of that stuff. Yeah, control. They find you. He put tracking device, all of that on her. They, that's how some of these just take it to the extreme. It's scary. It is. It's very scary. And like I said, it's a, I've been there, you know, been there and um, just had to check my car recently. <laughs> just, you know, it's just certain, it's a lot of precautions and a lot of changes. Um, it's a change on your life. Like it's a change on my life. A lot of things I can't go into details, what I've been doing and what I, you know, have to do because of this. Um, because like I said, this is still, uh, this is still recent. Um, but it's, it's a shame, but it's, and it's real, it's a scary thing, but it's, it's happening. But I just, I stay encouraged, you know, in the midst of it, people are like, well, how do Come you on. smile? How do you work? And how do you do this? And at the end of the day, I'm not going to let nobody, um, anymore ruin my life and take control of, you know, my life. I got some goals. I got some things I want to do. I just keep on pushing. I stay encouraged and. Like I said, I protect myself <laughs> between I me right. and between me and also I know, you know, God, <laughs> that's what it's going to be. You know, I just I'm alert. I'm aware. And um, I got to do what I got to do for me and my children. Absolutely. And that was going to be my next question for you, too, is safety precautions. Are you protecting yourself? But you answered that. And so has Chappelle. Chappelle, she answered it too. I sent you the interview after we got cut off. Yeah. I sent you her interview to check it out. And when I tell you, Gloria, you look at her testimony. And yeah, I'm going to link you to it, ladies up because she probably can tell you what you need to do, what steps you need to take. Because she did the same thing. A piece of paper is not going to protect nobody. Yeah, it's on paper. It's in the courts or whatever. But 
even if we go to the court, this other party is going to be petty. They're going to want full custody of the child. It's like, no, you're, you're, you're not getting custody of my children. Yeah. You're, you're not. Even when you have uh, you have a PFA and you have a piece of paper and you go to the courts and you tell them and I've showed them this is what's happening. Here's the text messages. They were like, well, how do you know it's him? What did you know? It's still other stuff that they try to do to make it seem like as if it's not the other party, uh, or either a way to make you still come back in because that's money every time we go to court. That's money in their pockets, not ours. Um, but they'll try to, you know, give us ways to still continue to keep on coming back, but not necessarily come up with a, a, resolu a resolution on it, or I'm going to say a cure, a permanent fix. You know, it's still uh, like for me personally, I feel like it's nothing's happening, it's not enough. And that's just the way that I feel, but really that's what it is. So it's just, you just, I don't know. I just keep on pushing and I do what I got to do. And I still keep on living life in the midst of it. You got to, you got to for those children and for your business. And when, I can tell when you talk Absolutely. about your business, you get a glow, you get happy because that brings you peace. Whereas if you are in an abusive relationship, you're so trapped in. Even for me suffering from emotional abuse, you're so trapped in. You, it's like you live your life in fear. But you're limiting like, yourself. Yeah. Right. You're limited on what you could do. And being in that situation and then coming out of it, and me coming out of it, now it's like, okay, I could take over the world. I want to do what I want. And that's where I'm at at this point, you know, which would maybe go into the modeling um pageantry you know et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, because i'm able to do what it is that i want to do <laughs> and um and that's why and i'm still going to continue on doing it i'm going to still continue taking on advantage of that you know i wish i would have did this a while ago and made better decisions and um you know had that mindset then but you know everything happened for a reason it is what it is but moving forward this is what we're going to do and this is what we're not going to do Absolutely. So before we close out, this is part two, the conclusion, Fashion Dolls. I can't see Gloria. I know she said she has to be out 4.15 and it's 3.55. But Gloria, before we go, what is some advice that you would give to young Black women who are also, who've also experienced domestic violence, any form, or just finding their life and going to fear? Because like I said, this year alone, I've said it three times to show black women are unprotected. So what advice would you give to young girls that are looking to find their life and find their happiness again? Because when you've been through emotional abuse, that mm -hmm. does something to you psychologically. It breaks Absolutely. you down. It makes you feel low. It makes you feel empty. It makes you feel depressed. You feel angry. All of these different emotions. So what Absolutely. advice would you give to young women that are watching both of us? My advice, what I could say is, <laughs> for me, that worked for me, take a chance, take a risk. And that's for all categories and not even just for abuse, but, you know, in your business or um, your modeling career, whatever it is that you want to go for, do it, take a risk. And... Um, you know, know that everything is going to be okay. And you just got to encourage yourself. You are your biggest cheerleader. You got to tell yourself that you could do whatever it is that you want to do. Life is so short. It's too short to, to, to miss any more of it. You know, don't make any decisions based off of the others around you because that's what we do. And that's why we end up in state in situations. I see people that are in abusive marriages for 30 years because they're basing off of what other people, people, people think of them. Maybe no, you should stay here and work it out. For, it would, you know, for God, no. for the sake of the children. No. <laughs> and I, you know, and I'm a firm believer, but at the end of the day, um, it's not belief for us to want to suffer. You shouldn't have to suffer regardless of your situation. Nobody should have to suffer. I don't care what color you are, what, what your, your gender is. It don't matter. Nobody deserves to suffer. Everybody deserves to be happy. So if I'm going to be here living on this earth, baby, I'm going to be happy while I'm living on it. And that's what it is. And everybody deserves that. So take a chance. Don't be scared to start all over again. You can start all over again. It don't matter. I'm almost 40 years old. I got a two-year-old baby and I managed to find love <laughs> again <laughs> in the midst of it. You will put your guard up. You will put a guard up and you will guard your heart for your life. And I was at one saying, I hate men. I hate men. And 
this and that. But, you know, at the end of the day, I got to realize that everybody's not the same. All women is not the same. All men is not the same. Every single person has their own single identity, you know? And um, and it doesn't mean just because you a Leo, just because I'm a Leo, but don't mean that this Leo is the same as this Leo. I realize there's different Leos too. So, you know, and just using that as an example, everybody is not the same. Don't be scared to take a chance. Live your life and be happy and talk to people and network. You never, you'll be surprised at who went through the same thing as you. Your story may be a testimony to somebody else that may be somebody getting ready to try that too, or it may be a way for them to get out of it. We may be a resource to others. So take that chance, network and talk to others and stay encouraged. And we thank you queen for coming here to share your testimony like i said i had no idea that she was going to share her story the same with chappelle so like i said i'm gonna link you ladies up do a group chat yes. and i'm gonna leave the group chat i want you to just network with each other because she's an actress by the way she's an actress you model and you both have similar in a way stories and i'm all about linking black women with other black women again it goes back to what you said in part one before we got cut off about the cattiness we want to break that stigma because people don't think that women can work together. Men are just like when women get when we get together, it's like, oh, it's gonna be catty. But when they get together, oh, they're standing firm, they're standing their ground, they're doing this, that, and the third. It's just like y'all have problems too. Y'all fight over us sometimes. Okay. Too. And, so, and it'd be entertainment. It's inter people like entertainment. But, you know, it all depends on if we make ourselves a part of that entertainment or are we going to get on out of it and do what it is that we got to do. Because I don't think about what nobody else and what they got to say. Because I'm going to live my life regardless. You ain't the one living it. I'm the one paying my bills and living my life. <laughs> that, that part. And before we close out today's show, Fashion Dolls, today's final thought comes from James Baldwin. He says this, not the love nor terror makes one blind. Indifference makes one blind. Remember that. We have a lot of work to do. November 5th, get out to the polls and vote. Again, if you know someone who is in a domestic violence relationship, talk to someone immediately. And there are people out here who will be willing, willing to listen and help. And to Black women, my sisters, my trans sisters, my biological sisters, Black women all across the board, protect yourself. The queer community, protect yourself. Arm yourself with knowledge, because I say this all the time. Uh, the most dangerous person in the world is a Black person who is armed up here with knowledge. Because that system where the same system that took a Black woman from us, Sonia Massey, and we're going to continue to say her name because that woman did not deserve to lose her life. She was a mother. Like, she could have been y'all's mother. She could have been anybody's mother or sister. And she deserves to be here. And we call her name. Black women, we call her name because we are the voice for her because she was a Black woman also. Too. Okay. So we're not going to erase her. We, we're going to keep her name. We're going to keep saying her name. And we're going to keep pressuring Absolutely. the justice system until we demand justice for this woman who lost her life in her own home. The same way. How crazy is it? She lost her life the same way Breonna Taylor lost her life. In their own home. Even in our own homes, we're not safe. And she called for help. She called for help because she was in fear. And she said in the beginning... and. It, she said, I'm sorry, I'm just, I just don't want y'all to hurt me. He said, why would you, why would we hurt you? We can't trust you now. We, we can't trust you. The boys in black and blue, the system, we can't trust y'all. Because that's what y'all do to black women. And if not her, then Sandra Bland, or any other black woman who's lost their life. Kani um, Kanika Jenkins, she's another one too. Yeah. These are black women who lost their lives. And we can't forget about the black men as well, too. Tony McDade, who was a black trans man who lost his life. Trayvon Martin, Oscar Grant, Amadou Diallo. We said they, their names, too, because they lost their life to the boys in black. And it just goes to show you that black people, us as a collective, we have a big fight. Because the same system that Project 2025, if he gets in office, this system, if we go out here like we're doing now, protesting peacefully, doing all of these things, what's going to happen is he is going to use the boys in black and blue and the military 
and he's going to tell them to do to black and brown, and th those are going to be the targets. Black people are going to be the target. We're going to be the target. If he says he's going to operate them and give them immunity, they can do whatever they want under his time. So we got got to fight this system, y'all. And we got to make sure that black women, queer people in the black collective, we all stay in arm and arm with each other more than ever right now. This is not the time to be divided. So protect black women at all costs. And I will always keep being a voice for black women here on my talk show, Style by Steve. It's, it's never stopped. Never stopped. So I love you all. And Gloria, I love you. And thank you for coming on and sharing your testimony, my sister. Chef Ladybug, you missed a good show today, girl. Minus me being embarrassed, the Lord showed me something. He cut the power off right in the middle of the show. He said, bitch, what you trying to do over here? So <laughs> listen, it is all, part one is up right now. Make sure you guys head on over and subscribe to Style by Stevie Daytime and check out part one. It is also up here on the gram. This is part two, the conclusion. And Gloria, let everyone know where they can follow you and check you out. Yes, I have multiple social media platforms, but primarily my business page is Glamorous Events by Gloria. You can go to www.glamouroseventsbygloria.com. I'm also on all social media platforms, even Pinterest, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and the list goes on. You can also find my other pages, Glam Ventures by Gloria. That's a part of Glamorous Events by Gloria. And also you have Glam Media and Technology, and you have my modeling page, Gloria Johnson 0729 and also Glam Fit, Life, Fitness, and Nutrition. So those are all social media platforms and also it's all primarily under www.glamorousevents.gloria and you can follow me underneath it there or on my Facebook, Gloria Johnson. All right, y'all, y'all heard her. Make sure y'all please go and follow and support black owned businesses, especially by black women. So please continue to support black businesses. We, again, we got this, this November 5th. Take it to the polls. Stand up for your sisters and brothers within the community. And this makes show 647. We are on the road to 700 shows, y'all. So please make sure that if you haven't checked out part one with Gloria telling her testimony, you need to do so now. Because it could be somebody in your family. They don't talk about it. That's the thing. They're scared to tell their family about it. So tell someone before it's too late because again most men or women don't make it out of the situation to tell their story the way gloria or chappelle did you know my show. so please again we got to stand up for one another i love y'all joining me tomorrow we have ish brown and i want you guys to be safe it is thundering and lightning but like i said the lord surely showed me something if you, if you haven't seen part one you need to go and check it out he showed me something. He said, oh, bitch, you doing an interview? Okay, we're going to fix you. <laughs> he cut that power out of that interview froze, so I had to come back and start a new life. But y'all, I love y'all so much, and <laughs> y'all be great. Stay safe, and stay cool. It is super hot outside. So, y'all, enjoy y'all's Wednesday, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Take care, everyone. Gloria, thank you, Gloria. Thank you. <laughs>